All right, guys, when you're watching this video, you only have a little bit of time left to get entered in for that blowgun. And I know it's just a blowgun, but you guys know that us painters use a blowgun almost as much as we use a spray gun. So definitely having a good one is the way to do it. So get into that if you're not already entered, but we're gonna be shooting a job today and I'm gonna be using my smart gun. And that's the DeVilbis Pro-Lite S. And I got this other little Iwata one I was showing you guys that I also have, but I really like the way the Pro Light S works because it has a uh, 1.0 and it really puts it down nice and flat and fine because it breaks it up really fine. So we're gonna seal with this one today. Actually, Sherwin recommends using a 1.0 for their primer. So this thing really works well for it and it breaks it up and puts it down flat. So we're gonna shoot this one with it, seal it, go through the base and clear on it. And this is just a hood, fender, and then a raw bumper. And just another also tip, make sure you guys are getting paid for the raw prep on these bumpers. Cause that's another tip that'll get you more hours to get you a better paycheck. So. Let's go ahead, we've already adhesion promoted the bumper and we're gonna seal it with this Pro-Lite S. And this one here is a 1.0, like I said. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll tell you what I use this LPH 80 for, that it really works well. Cause this one here is a 0.8. Let's get into sealing it. All right, look how flat it lays that sealer down with that 1.0. And that gun isn't really that much slower than a normal gun. It has a big fan for a uh, small gun. So it's definitely bigger than the LPH 80 is. That gun's tiny in your hand. It almost feels like a toy. But that uh, Pro-Lite Smart Gun, definitely a great gun for uh, all around painting. And I used to use it a lot. And uh, when I was doing more of the wheels, I used to do a lot of wheel reconditioning and I would use that gun a lot. But look how nice it lays that sealer down with that 1.0. 1.0 really breaks it up, really atomizes the sealer or the primer when you're using it and puts it down glass flat. And that's where I wanna start off on any paint job is with the sealer being as flat as possible. So look how nice it does, does a really good job with it. And I uh, used that other LPH gun I showed you there, that small mini gun. When I used to do with the Ghost Chrome, it was a ground aluminum. And uh, it was from Alsa, the corporation that makes a lot of custom paint. And they actually had it ground aluminum in alcohol. And you had to have a very, very small uh, head to break to paint that stuff. Otherwise, you wouldn't get that mirror-like finish when you were doing that mirror chrome. It was called the Ghost Chrome. So. That's what I used to use that LPH 80 for. And I'll be doing, you know, a video on some of that ghost chrome and what I do for the hyper wheels right now, even with the factory paint, I got a little concoction I make that can duplicate the uh, hyper wheel. So once I get a wheel, we'll be doing a video on that. One of you guys had asked me to do that and I'm just waiting to get the right wheel to do it on for you. So let's finish up shooting this one. This is just a black metallic and uh, we'll blow through this one and see it all finished up at the end. So let's get into it.
All right, guys, I'm over here in this side also working these two jobs, 102V and QAB, three stage. New bumper, fine line, raw. Make sure you get the tape time, raw prep time, and uh, anything else you can figure out. So we got two colors in here to maximize this booth. This one's all flashed off and I'm getting ready to clear it. I'm gonna clear this one, hit bake, and then I'll be back over there finishing that one up and hitting bake. But just wanted to show you what I'm doing over here on this side at the same time. So we're gonna get back over there and finish putting down one more coat of uh, base. We did one full wet coat. We're gonna do a light drop because we're going over that nice black sealer. And then we'll be clearing it with the LPH. And I've been using that LPH a lot, getting it dialed in. So let's get back over there. All right, guys, we're ready for clear. We got the base all dried on it now. It's flashed off and we're ready for the clear coat. So we're using the LPH still. I'm still dialing this one in. And now we're on back order for our slow hardener with the Sherwin Williams right now. So we're using the UH80 with the US6 reducer. And I like that US6 reducer. I actually have some of the UH90 left and I've been actually using it with that and it lays it down really nice. So that's what I'm putting on this right now is the UH90 with the CC200 and the US6. And watch how nice this stuff lays down with that slow reducer and that slow hardener. Because the CC200 is a production clear and it likes to set up quick. So I usually only have about a four minute uh, flash time in between. So once I go around a job like this, I'll come right back around and hit it. And with this here, it's actually slowing it up to be more of a glamour. But what a job it lays it down with that US uh, 6. So let's go ahead and clear it and uh, see it all finished up. All right, guys, look how flat it laid down that sealer on that bumper. And when you get a flat foundation, it comes out flat all the way up to the top. So one of the biggest things that guys don't realize is they lay it down a bumpy or an orange peeled uh, sealer. And then when they get done with the job, they wanna know why it looks peely. Make sure your sealer and whatever you're painting over is flat. Otherwise, you're gonna have, you're gonna start out wrong and you're gonna work it all the way up through the clear and you're gonna be trying to bury it in the clear coat to get a flat finish. But you guys can see here with that 1.0 of that uh, Prolite S, definitely lays it down flat. And then once you lay down your base and your clear, you get nothing but flat. So it all starts at the foundation and that's why you guys hear me talking so much about how good I like this sealer from Sherwin because it lays down nice. It's got a beautiful sheen. It's nice and shiny and it's not porous like most of the sealers I've used uh, in other companies. So really good product from Sherwin Williams. So this here gun, I definitely recommend it. And especially at home to anybody doing small jobs, you could use this from start to finish with your sealer base and clear, and this really works nice with a solvent base coat. So I didn't use that today because I'm doing a little bit bigger of a job, but I could do that with this job here and do the whole job. So definitely a good gun. If you guys want to pick up something for a small gun that works really well, this is definitely my choice for the mini gun. So hope you guys like this one. Make sure you get into the uh, giveaway. You got a little bit of time left. Look for that blowgun giveaway video. Get in and we'll see you on the next one.